Hey everybody, I'm Casey Putsch here from Putsch Racing today. We're out at Honda's Transportation Research Center in Marysville, Ohio, and it's actually an exciting day because we're out with the Ohio State University's Buckeye Current Motorcycle Racing Team. And uh, what's very exciting is they're uh, pushing the forefront of technology as it's a fully electric motorcycle. Uh, today is actually the first official test. They're preparing to go to the Isle of Man very soon, and uh, I'm very happy and honored to be helping them actually be the test rider for that bike. So uh, there's going to be a lot of wind today. I hope you enjoyed the video, but we're going to get to it. There it is, the 2013 Ohio State uh, Buckeye Current RW2 prototype. Have fun today, guys. Completely silent. <laughs> So we had a first test this morning already. Uh, good bike, a lot of nice stuff to work with, but we're just waiting on doing some data logging here real quick. So I wanted to take a moment and show you it. Uh, basically what we got here with this motorcycle are a whole lot of lithium polymer batteries. So essentially this motorcycle has the same electric uh, storage capacity as a Chevy Volt car. And actually if you come and look a little more carefully, their motor, electric motor, and jokingly we were saying, is much bigger than a hamster wheel, actually puts out the same kind of power as a modern 600cc race bike. So it's a very exciting thing obviously zero emissions cleaner moving the technology forefront forward I'm really happy to be part of this so I think they're about done I'm gonna hop on this thing or do some more testing and come back at it in a minute all right guys I thought we'd take a minute after that last test things are actually going real well and a uh, couple little tiny bugs but it's a real good bike real good platform and I think they got something definitely wonderful to work with and develop and take the out man soon but certainly go past there and say some uh, speed records in the past, but I thought I'd tell you a little bit more about their background. The bike team actually started uh, three years ago with one gentleman who got it going, and uh, this particular motorcycle is their second roundup build. Uh, it's named the RW2, and actually uh, there's kind of a, a sad note regarding that. Uh, that actually stands for the Ryan Williams 2. Uh, and Ryan Williams was a, a friend of mine and a teammate to all these guys, and very sadly two years ago, he passed away in a uh, traffic accident. The fact that he was riding a motorcycle and someone turned left in front of him. So uh, that just goes to show why safety is very important, uh, riding a pencil and being smart. So, you know, we all love him, a great teammate, great guy. We're very happy to have his parents out here supporting him too and this progress. And, uh, you know, of course, uh, safety, of course. So, and I bring that up too because it's kind of interesting when we talk about what this motorcycle is like to ride. You know, it's electric, but it only has one gear. And right now, that gear is, sets the top out about 175 miles an hour. Of course, you can set it to uh, go faster than that or slower than that, and that changes the way it accelerates. And uh, we were talking about it, and I was doing some high-speed runs just going, and, uh, you know, on a normal motorcycle, you've got gears where it starts off, you know, really fast, and as you go up to speed, it, uh, you know, starts tapering off until you get the, uh, the drag of the wind and mechanical drag and all that going on but this is different it's one gear there's no clutch there's there's no shifting gears and uh, there's very little sound it's just kind of that electric noise and uh, I joked I'm like guys it's like the hand of God thrusting you forward and, uh, it was kind of a um, little pointed moments with the team because uh, you know in a way maybe there is uh, somebody kind of looking down below those teammate guys Uh, electric motorcycle prototype for Ohio State University. It was a really great day. 
Uh, wonderful guys, wonderful team, really loved it. I'm um, come out to Honda's uh, Transportation Research Center again tomorrow. Uh, so certainly a big thanks to Honda and what they're doing for the team. Of course, the Center for Automotive Research at Ohio State University, head up by Dr. George Rizzoni. Very, very nice. A personal thanks from me and the team, of course, to them. And, and I think you guys can see the Formula SAE team there, too. That's another one of the student projects. That was the team that I was on back in the day. And it's neat to see them and have everything going on. And certainly, we have the motorcycle. So hope you guys enjoyed uh, going to push racing and seeing this stuff. I'd love for you to uh, look these guys up, support them. If you have a business that can help them out in some way, uh, please do so, or if you, you wish to be a sponsor, I, I hope you get a hold of them, or I'm going to hit you up to help out these guys too. And um, you know, it, it's a certainly a wonderful thing. And, and if you have a business too, look no further than find some really bright minds there. So that's it for today. That's it for the bike. Best of luck to the team at the Isle of Man. I, uh, my spirit goes with you. Of course, the spirit of uh, Ryan Williams, the late team member who the bike is named after. Thanks. See you later.